Hey, what's up, gurus? Welcome to Azure This Week. I'm Brian Ream, and in this very special Azure This Week, we are here live in Seattle. No, this is not a green screen. We're here live in Seattle at Microsoft Ignite. And so I'm gonna be talking to you about the conference. What's going on? What's new? What's changed from other Microsoft Ignites? What are we excited about? Not only that, I have a very special guest. Matt Ulayson will be joining me. He's one of the uh, architects here at A Cloud Guru. In fact, he's the principal architect here at A Cloud Guru. And so he's gonna be talking to me because this is actually his first Ignite. So we'll get his impressions as well. Super excited to be here with you. With that, let's just dive right in and get started. Have you ever heard the best things in life are free? It's true, and one of those free things right now up until the end of the year is certification prep. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, you can access free certification courses on a Cloud Guru or Pluralsight skills taught by experts. You get weekly study guides with learning programs and resources, all to help you get prepared to get certified. One of those courses is the AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. But there's also courses for AWS, Google Cloud, Terraform, or Kubernetes certifications that will work well alongside your cloud certifications. I'll drop a link in the description. All right, we are ready to start talking about Microsoft Ignite. I have Matt here with me, as I've already introduced. Hey. And uh, let's start off, Matt. Why don't you tell us this is your first Ignite? Yes, it is. What's going on? What do you think about Ignite? I think it's a real great time. Uh, really great to be here at my first Microsoft Cloud Conference and uh, hearing about all the new announcements and innovations with Azure, also Microsoft 365, uh, security, whether we're talking about Azure proper, Microsoft 365, or really any other related Microsoft service and just really great being in the atmosphere of all the new Microsoft Cloud stuff going on. Yeah, you know, this is my actual uh, fourth Ignite, and I can tell you that it is fantastic just to be back from the pandemic and being able to be live with everyone else uh, and sitting through the uh, the convention and listening to the different, uh, the different talks, and it's been extremely uh, nice to be back. So looking at Microsoft Ignite, are there any big themes that you picked up this year? Well, really kind of the two main themes that was really hammered on in the opening keynote is number one, I think like their official theme is doing more with less. And it really talks about how it, it, it's kind of a, a way of saying work smarter, not harder. So let's give you the technology tools that you need to be able to get the most good out of them without having to invest heavily in a whole variety of different third party or cobble together solutions. Um, another big thing that they really opened up with, in fact, it was really kind of the main opening statement before they went into the rest of that, is it's, it's an overused phrase, but these are uncertain times, so on and so forth. But the way forward to actually solve the problems, the practical problems that all the craziness in the world is bringing about is modern technology. There's a common thing of modern technology can help solve all these different problems especially with organizations that don't have infinite funds to be able to work their way through them. Um, one of them that, one of the issues or one of the highlights I talked about at near the end of their keynote, or I think it may have been more the fireside chat, was really emphasizing different nonprofits who, you know, by nature have very limited budgets and talking about how Microsoft is investing in those nonprofits from a technology standpoint to give them the tools that they need to in order them to be able to provide whatever solutions or solve whatever problems those organizations are looking to resolve. Yeah, you know, for me, I think it's the same kind of thing. I'm hearing over and over again this uh, uncertain times and how cloud is really the solution to that. And so looking at that, we still have discussions about hybrid, of course, and we still have solutions or discussions about no code and low code solutions. Um, but the the message around that is kind of shifted a little bit. It's turned into we can upskill your employees quickly with no code or low code solutions. Moving to the cloud is going to allow you to better activate and better do the job functions that you need at a lower cost. And in certain times, when you're looking at a tightening budget, that's incredibly critical. Now, similar kinds of concepts, but the messaging has changed from previous uh, Ignites. So beyond that, you know, Matt, what are there any negatives to Ignite? Positives, what, what else you have? You know, it's overall generally positive experience. Again, this is my first Microsoft Cloud Conference, so I don't really have that much to refer it to. Um, I will have to say, just on a personal note, that the uh, the swag game is a little bit lacking. 
Now in the fireside chat, they actually highlighted on purpose how they purposely went either shag, swag light or shag free, shag, swag free, uh, mostly for sustainability reasons, because I kind of see the perspective where you get so much junk that you don't actually use and it kind of just sits up in landfills. But at the same time, I kind of like all those t-shirts and hats and whatnot. So I have kind of mixed feelings about that. I can understand why they went that route, but at the same time, I like free stuff as well. Yeah, you know, from my perspective, I can tell you looking at other Ignites in person, um, it has definitely been a huge change this year. I'm going to go out on a limb and say I don't think it's completely just because of the environment. I think some of this plays into the pandemic and some of this plays into uh, lowering budgets and tightening budgets. And so what are we going to do in uncertain times? Um, I will say it's been really, really neat um, getting back in person and having done them uh, online versus in person. In person, there's a lot more connectivity and there's a lot of sessions actually that you can get into that are not recorded. And so you get better discussions with experts to kind of walk through problems that you may be having, regardless of what that fits into. Just an example of one of those sessions I actually just got out of an interesting one specifically focusing on the Azure Sentinel which is Microsoft's SIEM product, which is short for security. I'm gonna mess this acronym up. Uh, it's basically the security log ingestion suite for threat detection. Uh, and they actually had a hands-on lab guided by Microsoft employees saying, okay, we're gonna set up Sentinel, we're gonna set up a log analytics workspace, and actually provided a live hands-on lab environment, kind of similar to the environments that we provide uh, to be able to actually demonstrate the product in action. Just experiences like that, being able to go hands-on with a product and kind of understand you know kind of the, the, the hands-on tactile feel of how it works and just you know what problems it solves it's really kind of a nice thing um in, in addition to like the overall conference atmosphere which i greatly missed sure so one more thing that i wanted to point out i think it's kind of interesting is security has also been a big focus and one of the issues is as you start to introduce more low code and no code solutions security becomes more of an issue because you might have developers in a democratized situation where they're all across the company and so it gets kind of hard to make sure that you have security there's quite a few different new tools that microsoft is introducing through the power platform to enable you to actually jump in and still keep your environment secure so it's kind of an interesting topic as well as we introduce and we can continue to talk about uh introducing low code and no code solutions you know one thing i want to point out for all our viewers is Microsoft is running a cloud challenge right now. You know, we just talked about the uh, free courses that you can get on a cloud guru and skills. If you jump in and you complete one of these cloud challenges from Microsoft, uh, you have about a month to do it and you will get a free exam that you can take. So you could pair that with the free uh, course from a cloud guru or plural site and you'll be all set jumping into your next certification. So just to put this with the practicals, we have the Cloud Happy uh, Challenge and promotion going on through the rest of the year, which includes also the AZ900 Introduction of Microsoft Azure Certification. You can take the training course for the AZ900 for free, and you can actually go take the certification for free to get your first official Microsoft certification if you haven't gotten that yet. And now you're officially Azure certified for free, including the training. That's, that's a pretty dang good deal, to be honest. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, that just about wraps up what we have for this Azure this week. I'm sad to see you go, but the good news is it'll be a new Azure this week next week that you can hop into. Thanks for being awesome, gurus. I'll see you next week. See ya.